Maharishi, imagine, if you will, a, uh, a child of perhaps seven, seven or eight years old, very young. And you want that child to understand the, the technique. How, how would you tell that child? What would you tell that child to practice and to do? I'll tell him, see how beautiful is the pink petal and how beautiful is the green and how beautiful the whole thing. And then tell him that there is sap, which is neither pink nor round nor flat nor green. So there is one element within what you see on the surface. And that is the guiding factor of the whole surface. Mm -hmm. And then I ask him, do you want to go there? He says, yes. I say, why? Because there are chocolates available there. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 I, so I ask him who you are. And he said, my name is Mr. Max. Says, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Max, yes. From where you speak, from where you think. Hmm? Then he say, yes, I, my mind thinks, my body acts. He say, I write, my hand writes, but I think. The I within is the motivating power for all the activity of the body. Like that, there is that unified field which governs all activity in nature. I see, I ask him, do you know how this rose has grown? It was a tiny plant and the bigger plant and bigger plant, and a very fully blossomed rose. So something small always grows, always grows, which helps it to grow. Then I tell him, this is called natural law. Natural law is the basis of all growth, basis of all expressions. It governs life. You but the child might ask you about the sunshine and the rain and oxygen. That's it. And all the things. And all these things are as what they are on the basis of natural law. How that natural law functions, like the sap, how the sap functions to become the leaf, to become the petal, to become the stem, natural law. So the natural law functions. When you are tired, natural law closes the eyes, you go to sleep. When you, when you are fresh again, wake up, natural law wakes you up again. It's the nature. It's the nature that is responsible for all activity, for all modes, for all expressions of intelligence. It's very easy to tell the children because Whatever you are telling them, they are completely focused on that. So this meditation is like the simplicity of a child's nature. Automatically the mind settles down and that's the ground state of all the laws of nature. Coming to national life, hmm, our plan is to make every nation self-sufficient and for that, we prescribe a group of 7,000 to handle the whole coherent collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. On the level of economics, also the country is not self-sufficient. Always, every day, there are proclamations for this much more money and this much more the borrowing money, borrowing money, borrowing money. That means the country is not self-sufficient economically. Always more money is needed, always more money is needed. Always more, more of everything is needed. Country is not self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Politically, economically, in any sense, it's not self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. I would like this most creative country of the world to be really self-sufficient. Mm -hmm.